With the peace officer program ended at the 30th of April, authorities confirm that alternative options are under consideration for its wardens. For instance, the Commissioner of Police is considering appointing select wardens as reserves after special police constables in the service are upgraded to constables. In a Senate sitting 7th May 2021, Minister for National Security and Home Affairs Senator Honorable Herman Gil Francis acknowledged the successes of the program since its operations began in December. He expressed hope that the remaining wardens can be incorporated into other relevant state services based on their performance in the COVID-19 response. This project was a, a seven months project and um, because it was so successful that we had to be getting funds to, to, to be able to do that. Um, presently it has come to an end, but the government is actively looking for the, the, the finances uh, in, in ways of like savings because there are positions that where the police has to in, um, employ more police officers, more fire officers, and so on. But we have recognized the importance of the COVID wardens, and so we are making the relevant allocations available so that they can be paid. We don't want to have persons employed, and two, three months down the line, you're not paying them. We want to make sure that we pay them every month, um, like any other civil servant. So this is the reason why the project has been shelved for a little while, but we intend to continue. Thank you. Senator Honorable Herman Gil Francis, Minister for National Security and Home Affairs. The Senator returns to official duty after recovering from an asymptomatic bout of COVID-19 infection. He encourages the public to get vaccinated. Unfortunately, I gave it to my dear wife and she suffered. But I'm saying that because apparently we had taken the first dose of the vaccine, I think that helped her tremendously. And so I want to encourage all St. Lucians to go and get vaccinated. This COVID thing is real. It is real. And so all of us, opposition and government and, and independent senators and everybody else, we have to make a concerted effort of speaking to our people and telling the dangers of this COVID. We cannot force or we do not want to force persons. We do not want to take the, the way in which St. Vincent, Antigua and Trinidad is going as to be able to force people to go and get the vaccination. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that everybody goes there willingly, understanding, especially if you have old parents, okay, older people in your, in your household, that those are the persons more likely to die if they're infected.